to a Frank's Plastic. Today we are back with another Marvel Legends action figure review. And this is the Walgreens exclusive Jigsaw. Very fortunate to find this one today. Totally unexpected. I went to two different Game Stops and they both had uh, one in stock. So I picked one up for myself and basically just picked one up just in case one of my buddies wanted one. So I'm not being greedy. I'm not keeping them all for myself. Very excited to have this one. Oh, so let's get a closer look at that packaging. There's a picture of Jigsaw on the side, man. And that's a pretty amazing artwork. Same picture on the other side. Nothing on the top. Barcode and disclaimer and all that good stuff on the bottom. And as you can see there, same artwork on the back as well. There is a little read-up. It says, Jigsaw is a criminal with a heart as twisted and gruesome as his once beautiful face. And man, this dude is ugly. Amazing artwork. Definitely love the way he's drawn on the back of the box. Might actually have to cut this part out and uh, kind of find somewhere to put it, but it's too uh, it's too cool to throw away. Definitely. That's pretty much it for the packaging. Let's crack this guy open and get a closer look. All right, now we get this guy out of the package. What an amazing head sculpt. Honestly, amazing job on this one. Look at all the detail, man. Like you got some scars here. You got all the stitching. All the stitches and everything else are really clean. You can see all the scars in his face, details in his teeth, details in his eyes as well. His eyes are nice and bloodshot. Hopefully the camera picks up. Cool detail in his hair as well. You can see some scarring. You got some spaces there for scarring. This cool neck brace here that is removable. I'll take that off eventually after we get a closer look. And then we get to the body. And the body is uh, pretty plain. A little bit different than what we're used to, but at the same time, uh, a, lot of, uh, a lot of the same parts. We do have the nice buttons on the back here. And then we get down to the shoes and pants and everything else, which I'm pretty certain that we've uh, seen before, which I don't mind. Uh, overall, just the head sculpt and everything else kind of do it for me, man. And with all the accessories that we'll go over now. Crazy amount of accessories. Uh, we're not used to getting all these with a standard Marvel Legend. Usually we may get a little bit with a deluxe figure or stuff like that, but not with just a regular release. So first we have a shotgun. Now we've seen this one before. This is the same shotgun that came with this version of Punisher. Just a repaint. Still pretty cool though. And then we have a baseball bat, which is painted to be a uh, basically an aluminum baseball bat. This is pretty much the same design as this one as well. Just repainted. But man, this one looks much cooler. And we also have a machete, which is... <laughs> You can see a bit of a pattern here. Most of his accessories already came with Punisher Legendary Riders release, but I'm okay with that. Basically, as long as they do a repaint, um, I'm perfectly fine. So this is the Punisher one and this black and gray pattern here. The one that came with Jigsaw. Most of these are basically an upgrade because you can see how it's got a black handle and even the little screws or bolts, rivets, whatever you want to call it, keeping the knife together. I'm not a knife expert, but these are painted as well on both sides. So that's pretty cool as well. So a bit of improvement there over the original. And he also comes with two knives. These are pretty cool as well. Pretty cool design of those. We've seen those before as well. <laughs> Man, I don't care if Asbro keeps giving us stuff that's already been released. As long as we keep getting those accessories. And we've seen this knife with Union Jack as well. So pretty much the same design. I think, uh, I think it was originally released with some Deadpools or a Deadpool as well. We get two muzzle effects or blast effects or whatever you want to call it that poured into the shotgun just like that i think it's uh, pretty cool i wish they fit more flush i think if you play it around with them a little bit you'll get them to fit a little bit better but overall still looks pretty cool you guys get the idea and it comes with two more effects as well i'm so excited to get accessories but personally it's something that should be coming with these uh these figures anyways man Especially with the increased price, I don't mind paying extra if we get all these cool accessories along with it. So comes with two of these smoke effects as well. Looks pretty awesome. Very excited. Love getting accessories. Now we had a closer look and we went over accessories. Let's go over articulation. You guys can probably already tell, but articulation is going to be somewhat limited. Any of these suit of figures, you're almost guaranteed to have a limited articulation. They are pretty stiff. Let's take off his collar first before we go our articulation because obviously this might hinder it a little bit but just give you guys a look at the collar as well there is some detail on it 
It's not just a plain piece of plastic, so that's pretty cool as well. Set goes back this far, goes down this far, so pretty good range of motion going down. Kind of limited going back. There is some side to side, you do your full rotation here. Shoulders, somewhat restricted, go up this far, all the way around, you got your bicep swivel, got your double jointed pin elbows as well. And for his wrist, two wrists go back and forth, which is pretty common for any figure that usually carries a gun, a weapon, sword, whatever the case may be. So this one's up and down, and it is pretty restricted, but you do get a full rotation. This is a trigger finger on this side, and this one goes up and down, and all the way around. Obviously, there is no ab crunch because it is restricted by his jacket, but you do get a full rotation at the waist, which is pretty cool. Legs are going to be restricted as well because of his suit, and... Yeah, I don't want to push on any more net. You can feel a little bit of strain on the peg, so that's pretty much how far it's going to go. That's how far I'm going to push it anyway. <laughs> you do have your upper thigh cut, and you have your double jointed pin knees as well. And for his ankles, you have your standard range of motion, back this far, forward this far, and a full rotation. Overall, pretty average articulation. So I'm just going to pop that neck brace back on. I think it kind of adds to the character. And let's put a shotgun in this side. So his finger does pour it in nice there. Takes a little bit of mess around, but it does fit in his hand. All right, let's go crazy with it. Let's put a machete in as well. So here he is holding a sword and a machete. This guy looks crazy, man. I think it's awesome. Right, let's switch out and put a baseball bat in this hand. I think it fits in both hands too, so. Uh, let's put a knife like a crazy person. Let's put a knife in his hand. Piece him down. Pretty cool as well. There he is with two knives. Pretty cool overall, man. I love it. Alright, so that's pretty much it for his accessories in hand as well. So let's do some comparisons. So obviously we can't have Jigsaw and not compare them to uh, some Punishers. Here's a comparison to pretty much every Punisher that I have in my collection. So you can see he's roughly the same size as most Punisher figures. He's a little bit smaller than, uh, say, the Legendary Rider, but he is a little bit taller than the Camel Punisher. Uh, a little tiny bit shorter, not a whole lot, maybe a couple of millimeters shorter than the Classic or the Retro one. Let's do a side side comparison to the Netflix version. He is a little bit shorter than the Netflix version as well. So these suited figures are usually a little tiny bit smaller anyways. Unless we're talking about like say Happy Hogan and I think Hammerhead is a little bit bigger too. Uh, I don't have them in hand yet, but from the pictures that I've seen, I think their bodies are a little bit bigger. Let's do a comparison to the MCU Nick Fury. You can tell there too that he is just a tiny bit taller. From what I can tell, the pants and the crotch and all that, it's pretty much the same thing. The shoes are the same as well. So lower body is the same as this. The arms seem a little tiny bit bigger but maybe it's just the contrast of white and black here. In case you are wondering too, uh, this head actually do fit on some of the Punisher bodies. It's not the best fitment, but it is possible. Obviously the complexion is off as well. This is the classic body. Let's try the Netflix version. It fits on the Netflix version. Nice and cool. Actually suits him, man. I think it looks pretty badass to be honest with you. Awesome. I think this might be a different body as well. So let's try the camel version. And it fits onto that one as well. Like I said, the complexion's off. The fitment's not great, but it does fit on. All right, let's do a comparison to Kingpin. Obviously, Kingpin is a much bigger figure. And here's a comparison to Tombstone as well. Obviously, Tombstone is on the bigger side as well. But like I said, I just want to do comparison to all the different sizes. Let's do one more comparison to the Mezco version of the Netflix Punisher. Pretty much the same height. This is such an awesome figure overall. Pretty cool. So that's pretty much it for our review. Overall I'm going to give this guy a 9 out of 10. Face sculpt is definitely one of the best I've seen from Hasbro. Just let me know in the comments below if you guys have a difference of opinion. Design and all the detail that he put into that head sculpt. Even like with the bloodshot eyes, all the staples and the stitching and all that stuff. Scars in his head, on his lips, and just overall scars. And man, everything everything looks amazing. 
And then you get down to the body, and I think body is definitely where you lose some points. Uh, limited articulation, uh, the little skinny legs and everything else. Not a fan of the lower body on these suit of figures. And I just find the top part kind of puffy, stiff. It kind of takes away a bit from the figure. And another thing that actually adds to the figure is the amount of accessories that we get. Man, awesome accessories. So with amazing head sculpt, pretty much lackluster body. And overall, I think it's going to even out at a 9 out of 10. Let me know in the comments below what you think of my score of 9 out of 10. And let me know in the comments as well what you guys think of this figure. Can't say it enough. I think it's awesome. Very excited to have this one. Not a fan of Hasbro increasing their prices. I really don't mind so much when you get an awesome figure like this and lots of accessories to go with it. If you like our review, don't forget to click on that like button. If you like our channel and you want to support our channel, don't forget to subscribe as well. I try to do a review every second day at least, second or third day. So lots of content of new and old figures coming your way. I'll try to get the new stuff done as fast as I can, but I still have a lot of older figures to get through. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the rest of your day. Keep collecting and stay safe.